Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about banned biographies. Do banned biographies matter? Um, yeah, they do. Uh, can, but can you get signed without a bio? Yes, unfortunately. Um, but does that mean that you shouldn't bother putting out a, a bio? Um, no, you should definitely put out a biography for sure. For one, it helps fans to get to know you better and when they sort of marry that your music with the information in the bio, I think it really helps to develop stronger fans um, than just what your music uh, impacts them with. But also for press, it allows the press to be able to write more compelling reviews and come up with far more interesting questions than just your basic questions that you're going to get hit with over and over and over again. And who wants that? I know you don't want that. I certainly wouldn't want to be asked the same questions over and over again. So, uh, but a good biography shouldn't uh, intimidate you either. A uh, good biography should really be no more than about five paragraphs, uh, more or less, you know, you can kind of, depending on the length of paragraph you come up with. But the uh, first paragraph should be basically an eye-catching introduction, something that's going to just really stand, make you stand out and make the reader want to read further into it. Second and third paragraph should be succinct, you know, short, but detailed history of the band, you know, where you came from, what you're about, um, who your members are, how they came together, that kind of thing, just your know, basic history. Uh, your fourth paragraph is going to be achievements, um, what you've accomplished as a band over however long you've been together. And the fifth paragraph is going to be your closing paragraph with known plans or goals uh, coming up. That definitely also helps to come up with some good questions um, that are going to be relevant to your fans and, and uh, help kind of close the interview with when, you know, when we're at that point. Um, and keep your um, biography serious, succinct, and above all, professional. Um, this is basically an opening door for a lot of... Uh, bands, you know, when, when they have a good um, press kit together. Um, and uh, it's a very important part of your pre press kit, both your electronic and uh, physical. And you should definitely make at least some physical press kits. Uh, some places may still request that for you. If this is something that you've been struggling with and you think that you need assistance with, you can certainly email me and I'd be happy to you know, help advise you or maybe even uh, you know, help, write, help you write one. Uh, you can email me at dkelly at chicagomusicguide.com. Once again, that's Dennis Kelly and dkelly at chicagomusicguide.com. Hope this helps, but definitely bios matter. Thanks.